that's one thing right there, the lorry going past. New build life. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all really well. I've decided to take a new twist on things and actually start talking to you more about new build properties. You seem to really love the content so I wanted to create more where I can give you advice on living in a new build, what to expect when you're buying a new build and just the overall process of new build living. So I'm really hoping you're going to enjoy this. So to continue with one of my last videos, which was all about five things that I wish I knew before I bought a new build, I actually wanted to go through another step with you, which was about snagging, something which gets brought up quite a lot. Um, snagging seems to be a huge issue. It's, it's something which everybody who buys a new build worries about. And sometimes you can read horror stories about snagging in your house. But really, snagging is inevitable. You are buying a brand new house and there are always going to be things that people have missed. So it's up to you to grab your paper and pen and to walk around your house and find some of those faults. So before I get too carried away about talking about snagging in the intro, let's cue some music and get stuck into it. Right, you have bought your house. You have picked out your finishing touches, you have signed the contracts and you have stepped into the front door. You are over the moon. You have got your brand new house, your dream house, and you cannot wait to start living in it. But then you notice there's a crack, or then you notice that the light switch doesn't work, or then you notice there's a leak. There's all these factors that suddenly come over you and you think, oh gosh, what have I done? Why have I bought this house? But don't panic, you're covered. You are covered by your developer and you are covered by your NHBC warranty. So my advice to you is before you start moving in your furniture, have a wander around your new home. Try and have a look in all of the cupboards. Try and have a look on top of cupboards. Have a look down little small spaces, have a look at your skirting boards and check all of your doors before you start bringing in your furniture, if you can that is. You may find a couple of things as you first start looking around. You probably won't find many because you need to actually live in it to see them, but you might find a couple of things. Sometimes though you won't really find anything because actually that your developer and NHBC have already walked around their property and they have checked everything inside and out to start with so you might not find anything until you have lived in your house for a couple of days. When you first move into your house you have an initial seven days to put together a snag list. Now this snag list is probably the most crucial snag list that you can put together. It's the one where you have found things that are initial snagging issues. They're not things that have happened over time like cracking or anything like that. They are the little things that are affecting your house from the moment that you move in. So I did some research on this and there's actually a new retention scheme which has come into place whereby it doesn't affect you directly but your solicitors will hold back 5% of any monies before handing over to the developer after you have exchanged contracts. And this 5% is held back by your solicitor to ensure that the developer covers any of the snagging that you find in that first seven days. The developers have to acknowledge the snagging list that you've put together in those seven days and they have to tick off each individual item before they can receive that 5% retention from your solicitors. So this is really your time to make sure that you get every single tiny thing done that you want doing or that you notice in those first seven days because they will want that 5% back. I would suggest to you that the best thing to do when it comes to this is to make a list of all your items, write down the date that you notice these snagging issues, and then write down the date that your developer came to visit, then the day that they fixed the issue as well. That way you have got a record that you can also give to your solicitor if it was needed. After your seven day snagging list is complete, your site manager should then actually visit your house and they will make sure that you are happy with everything before they can then contact the solicitor and get the retention back. 
After your initial seven day snagging list, you then have either one to three months, depending on your developer, to put together another snag list which will be dealt with by your site team. Now you might be really fortunate and you might not live in a house where there is much snagging at all. So this list could be really, really small or you might be one of the people who is it perhaps a little bit more unfortunate and actually find that there's that there are a number of snagging issues in your home either way for that one to three month period you will be able to have contact with your site team who will come and fix any of those problems and the best thing to do is to be friendly with them don't be hostile towards them by being friendly they are going to want to come to your house and they're going to want to repair those problems for you so just make sure that you Greet them with a cup of tea and a big smile and I'm sure that you will get all of your snagging issues resolved. After that one to three month period, you are then covered for two years by your customer care team. So these are for other issues in snagging which involve things like leaks perhaps that might build up over time. You can ring your number for your developer and the customer care team will then send somebody out to come and repair the snagging issue. But don't worry, the cover doesn't stop there. You actually have 10 years from the initial point of sale through the NHBC. Now the NHBC covers you for any structural damages which are outside your property. Now, one major thing that a lot of people always talk about when they buy a new build is the cracking. They are always talking about, oh, there's a crack on my stairs or there's a crack here and there. And the truth is, is that we will, will all get cracking in our property. Cracking doesn't actually fall into a snagging issue unless it is thicker than a one pound coin. Now, I don't have a one pound coin to show you, but I do have a two pound coin and a two pound coin is pretty much the same thickness. So your crack needs to be as thick, I don't know if my camera will focus, but it needs to be as thick as a one pound coin. If it is as thick as that, then you can pop that down as a snagging issue and your developer will come and fix it. The reason that cracking takes place in new builds is because your house is brand new, it's always moving and it's made of timber and plasterboard and all these things and the foundations are just settling so these are all natural things your house isn't going to fall down it's just a process that your house has to go through with shrinkages and with expanding as well in heat temperatures so it is to be expected you don't have to worry so let me tell you a little bit about our snagging journey. We have lived in our persimmon home now for three years. So our two year customer care snagging is now officially over. And I have to say, we were actually really fortunate in the fact that we didn't really need to use it very much. We were actually built a really, really good house. So we didn't have too many snags to find, but of course there were a couple of things that were initial snagging issues and then there were a couple of things that happened over that two year period. So I am having to stretch my mind back here a little bit, but the things that I can remember which were initial snags when we first moved in were things like the doors used to rub. So that was to do with movement really and expansion, like I said before, but a lot of our um, upstairs doors like the bedroom doors they just would not open and shut smoothly you literally had to force them and in fact actually we still do have some problems with our master bedroom door it probably just needs like a really good um like a shave down but I quite like it it makes me feel safe at night when I can shut the door and no one can get in so yeah we actually had that issue with all of our doors and persimmon very kindly just sent someone around who just trimmed off the bottom of them and just adjusted the hinges slightly and then our doors all now work perfectly something else that we had was actually the pressure in our bathroom on the taps in the bath when you turn them on they just hardly any water came out whatsoever the pressure was really really low i think that was actually an initial like seven day snag and when the site manager came to visit i just let him know and he literally sent around a plumber that day and the plumber just opened up the bath and had a little tinker and he fixed it and we've never had any problems with that since as we lived here i began to become a little bit picky with some things and one thing was the ceilings i found that the ceilings were a little bit bumpy in places you could see the nails that they had used to secure the plasterboard to the ceilings so i let my site manager know when it was the one month period and he sent round somebody to just sand back the ceiling and re-skim them over and now they are lovely and smooth. A snag which came up in my two year period was actually a leak underneath the shower. Now, 
I can't exactly remember all of it, but all I know is as you were walking down the stairs on the ceiling above where it was slightly slanted, you could see that the, the, the paint had bubbled. So I picked it away one day and I actually found that underneath all of that was just soaking wet. And what was actually happening was that where the, where in the shower there was just a, a tiny hole which hadn't been sealed properly and that was letting out water. So very, very quickly the customer care team sent somebody round and they filled in the hole and then they just um, took off any of the plasterboard that it was peeling away, sanded it all back and re-skimmed it and then they repainted it. And you wouldn't really notice it anymore, it's absolutely fine. So some of the things that you should take into consideration when it comes to letting customer care and your site team know about snagging are you need to be precise in what your snagging issue is. Let them know exactly what is wrong and they will then decide whether it needs to be dealt with immediately or whether it's something that could perhaps wait a week or so depending on when they have somebody free to come and repair it. Don't ever think that they have forgotten about you, they haven't, they have a system in place where they are making notes of every single snag as it is coming in for each property. You also need to take into consideration that there are a lot of houses on these developments so everybody is going to be calling them all the time so make sure that you give them the opportunity to rectify the snag before you get hot-headed about it. One thing that I used to do rather than getting like upset that they were not coming and fixing my issue or if I felt that I wasn't as important as somebody else is I would just give them another courtesy call, I would be polite and I would just ask for a rough time frame of when I could expect for this repair to be fixed. They can be quite slow, but there is no harm in asking. I actually think having a snagging system in place is one of the biggest perks when it comes to buying a new build. If you tell them that there is something wrong, they will come and fix it. And you don't get that kind of aftercare if you were not buying a new build. So it's a really, really great thing. And, we, and I do feel so incredibly lucky to have any issues that we found in the house fixed. So there is my advice on snagging. I hope that you found this video helpful. And as I said before, there are going to be so many more videos now popping up on my channel, which are going to be about new builds. And I hope that you'll all really enjoy them. If there's anything that you would like a video on, please comment below and I will make sure that I add that to my list of videos. And also don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy my content and make sure you press that bell button so that you get a notification when a new video is uploaded. Thanks for watching everybody and I will see you next time. Bye.